Hi, Ni I'm Chef Tom. Today, I'm going to show you how to make pin sears tuna rice bowl. I sell a lot of this on my food truck. I thought I will show it to you. Let's do it. So he put me in charge of the seasoning. <laughs> so we just have a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, we're going to marinate the tuna steak first. Okay, now we're going to add this seasoning blend. This is one of my a favorite. hot and spicy Cajun style spice blend. You don't have to use this exact one. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a seafood spice that you like, yes. or you can make your own little mix, mm -hmm. um, maybe some cayenne. What else would you put in there, honey? A little salt. This is, I suggest when you travel around the world or market, if you see something interesting, I usually buy one and try at home. This happened to be one of my favorite. And you know where we got it? Was at either Marshalls or TJ Maxx or yes. Home Goods. Mm -hmm. One of those. They have, I'm telling you, they have the best spice blends and they're not very expensive at, at all. I just love that spices marinated. Okay. And the tuna steak. I'm gonna do a pinch of salt and pepper. Yep. And I suggest do it on the both side. Very nice. And then we're gonna use the cast iron to sear the steak. We have some healthy brown rice it's cooking right now. Oh, let's do a little bit more. Yes. Kick it up a notch as Emma would say. And then we got some cilantro, avocado, English cucumber, and radishes for the side. Ooh, I'm hungry. All right, let's fire up the skillet. All right, let's go. So the brown rice just been done. Brown rice cook a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna cover up and uh, just let me rest. Let's go. We're gonna sear this tuna baby for maybe two to three minutes on each side. Oh yeah. Oh, so pretty. Cast onion will give you a really nice uh, sear. Oh boy, look at that. Just like that. Voila! Now we're gonna garnish. Simple garnish. English cucumber. And we did um, use brown rice for this. You could also use white rice. And avocado. I just used a butter knife and just scrape out a couple. Avocado so good for you like that I did this a lot at home easy quick and simple and my kids love tuna rice bowl some people call it pokey tuna rice bowl whatever you like to call it, but oh yeah that's for later and then get some radishes colorful you know, healthy, see, simple, just like that. Here, I'm gonna add some uh, soy sauce. That's low sodium soy low sauce. Low sodium soy sauce. This is simple, easy, quick for you to make at home. And then, spicy mayo. You can get it at pretty much every grocery store now. Don't go too crazy on the spicy mayo, okay? Because we want the, we want the flavor, come on. We want the flavor of the fridge. And now that one's almost empty. Yep. We've used it a few times. Just a touch. Yeah, okay, there you like go. this. And then pour sesame seed. Roasted sesame seed. You have white or black, doesn't matter. You see that? And the end drizzle. Just tiny little bit of sesame oil. Look at that. Oh boy. Here we go. Cilantro, why not? On the side, this is a beautiful rice bowl for you. Voila. Beautiful, healthy. I hope you like the video. We'll see you next time. Bye.